Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English, an instructional support program for intermediate level English learners. Our program is designed to use the power of TV and the internet to help you improve your listening proficiency, as well as reading, writing, and speaking. This is segment two of episode 35. When it comes to reading, learning the phonics, the symbol-sound relationship of the target language gives you a huge benefit. Yet the study of English phonics is a whole area of instruction unto itself. Now, we don't try to cover English phonics in this program, but this episode on cats does create an opportunity to touch on the subject. There are 44 distinct sounds in English. The letter A in the word cats is a common sound. We call it a short A sound. Thus, there are many words in English that rhyme with cat. So let's take a look at just a few of the more obvious. At rhymes with cat, as does bat, fat, and hat. Mat rhymes with cat, as does nat, pat, rat, and sat. Now, do you hear the short A sound in the middle of each word? How about tat, as in tit for tat? Then there's vat, a large container for a liquid. Now, here's how I made this list of rhyming words. The word cat has three distinct sounds. K -a -t. I took the last two sounds and went through the alphabet, trying each letter at the beginning as a beginning sound, and if that made a real word, then I added it to the list. Now, in dealing with English phonics, it's important for us to look at some special letters we call vowels. As in many, but not all, languages, in written English, all the symbols, the letters, correspond to sounds instead of to meaning. So the letter C at the beginning of the word cat doesn't mean anything at all. It stands for a sound, or in this case, two sounds, k, the hard C, and s, the soft C. Now, the middle letter in the word cat is an A. When the C precedes an A, it has the k, or hard sound. Now let's look at the middle letter, that A. The letter A is an example of a small group of letters we call vowels. Every word in English contains a vowel. Besides A, the other vowels are E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Vowels between two non-vowels make the short vowel sound, like the A in the word cat. Hear the A ah sound. The letters C and T in the word cat are not vowels, so they're called consonants. So the word cat is a classic example of a consonant-vowel-consonant word, what we call a CVC word in the education world. So all I did was go through the alphabet for consonants that formed words that would be put in front of the letter AT, at, which itself turns out to be a rhyming word. Now, this whole business with the short A sound gives you only one of the 44 sounds in the English language, so you can see why I don't try to teach much phonics on this program. If you want to undertake a study of phonics, I think the best starting place is a website called Starfall. You can visit them at starfall.com. I'll post a link to this website on my own website, letscreate.org. The Starfall website is a low-pressure, fun way to learn phonics, and you can explore the symbol-sound relationship of any letter you wish. It's designed for little kids, but it's a great resource for people of all ages who want help in reading English. Spoiler alert! Later in this episode, I'm assigning homework that involves getting and reading a book about cats. I'm wondering how much you understood from our first video clip. The visual elements made it clear that the clip was about cats and kittens. The narration and interview responses were all about an organization that helped stray cats in Southern Oregon. We'll learn more about that organization when we return. Is it true that ramping up your English is going to the dogs? Frenzy. 
Yes, it is. And cats, horses, rabbits, geese, jaguars, and more. Join us in our new unit on animals. Ramping Up Your English is for intermediate English learners from all language backgrounds and all ages. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our new thematic unit is Animals. This science unit helps viewers advance in language functions that will stretch their English skills and learn a few things from dogs as well. Openness, trust, faithfulness, loyalty, playfulness and more. The, the qualities that we as humans really do need to learn and to have in our lives on a daily basis because they deliver such beautiful rewards. Ramping up your English can be seen on the Ashland Home Network on channels 15 and 115. It's on channel 182 on Charter Cable in the rest of Southern Oregon. Join us for better English and a grand time with animals.